There I was, I requested my climb bird, Zangbu Sherpa Dai, to just hold on for a moment. Because suddenly, we were climbing at night. So suddenly the environment changed. There was a burst of colors. And I was like, wow. And the sun seemed to just come right and make an arc, you know, right from down the globe. It was like, it was magnificent. So after that, within four days, within four days while coming down, it had already started melting. And it was so difficult, so challenging to come down because every time we would be keeping a step forward, we had to make sure that we would not end up in a full split and tear our muscles. So we were avoiding splits all along the way till the base. Luckily, I must say, thank God, we made it safely to the base. Cut to 2022. That was in 2013, right? So 2022, I had the opportunity to go to the base camp as one of the liaison officers, a communications officers for our government. Ma'am is right here. So the entire perspective changed. Now, I, was, I didn't have the mindset of a climber now. I was there to watch, to be vigilant about all the activities that would take place in the mountains. I was there to take care of the mountains and report to our government as what, whatever was going on in there. I have lived, not just witnessed and seen, but I have lived the impact, the adverse impact of climate change on the glaciers and on the Himalayas for 10 days. I stayed at the base camp for 10 days. And let me tell you, from 2013 to 2022, quick nine years, if we think of it that way, right? As on our communities living up there, all the other species. So we had actually proposed the government to relocate the base camp away from the glaciers to somewhere else where the glaciers would be safe. And the other fact that um, blew my mind away was when I was there in 2013, we just had three weather windows. So three dates with good weather, good wind, where we could reach the top. And suddenly, 2022, we had climbers going up and down almost half a month. So you can see the impact that climate change, the impact of global warming on ice and glaciers and the roots that are ever changing on the mountains. And the other thing is, I think we all are very well aware, and in due course of this evening, we'll be showing it through various videos as well, so let me not elaborate on that. We all know the devastating effect of climate change on, especially on the communities living up there, especially us, Nepalese, because just think of it, it is magical. When, when, when this earth was created, out of 14 8,000ers, we got to land eight highest peaks in the world. Look at the odds. It's amazing, right? So also at the same time, we also have to realize the impact that it can create. The first hit is good, definitely going to be the communities up there. They need to be relocated. They need to be, you know, we need to take actions right now. So um, I can go on forever <laughs> talking about mountains and my experience. If we have time later on, probably I can elaborate more. <laughs> but for right now, I'd like to move ahead with the program. And may I invite on stage Migma David Sherpa, who was there with me in 2013 as well. And he is here to pay tribute to the expedition co-leader of World Vlog Challenge. I'd like to invite him on, uh, invite him on stage, please. Karsang is not only my brother, but also my expedition co-leader for this project, World Vlog Challenge. I'm very honored to work with you. Being a brother, I just want to say 
love you brother and whatever you are thank you thank you thank you video please Condolences to uh, Megma and his family. There are no words to describe the loss that the family has faced and he himself is facing right now. Uh, let me move ahead quickly with um, the introduction of our respected jury members. Uh, I'm very excited to let you know that the jury members of World Vlog Challenge have been the best professionals we can think of in their respective fields. Did I get it right, ma'am? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So with us, we have tonight Aishani Medagango Dalabe. Thank you. <laughs> he, she is the resident representative, United Nations Development Program. Uh, likewise, we have Dr. Dhananjay Regmi, CEO, Nepal Tourism Board. Garrett E. Wilkerson, Chief Public Affairs, U.S. Embassy. Uh, Santa Birlama, President, Nepal Mountaineering Association. And last but not the least, Arun Bhakta Shrestha, Senior Climate Change uh, Specialist, Isi Mode. Let us have a look at what they had to say to all of us through this video. The vlog challenge for me, uh, first of all, was a very unique experience. Uh, it was an experience with full of energy, enthusiasm, uh, passion, the power, the ambition. So it was bringing all these feelings together and having it in one place. Uh, um, so it was unique. So well, actually that covers mostly the Everest region and some part of the Kathmandu. And they, they were not only focusing on one aspect, they were showing the culture, livelihood of the people, especially the Serba cultures, and they were talking to the number of people there. They tried to understand the, how the climate is changing and what sort of the effects uh, do the local people experience. And they again come up with the number of uh, clips where they are showing how the glaciers are melting, what is really happening in the ground. So they were giving a lot of institute information, so which uh, I think is a very, very helpful to make the global uh, audience to understand what is going on in these high massive mountains of the Himalayas. Here in Nepal, when you go up to the mountains, when you go up to the Himalayas, you can immediately see the impact of the climate crisis. And this is very concerning, not just for the people of Nepal, but for the people of the world. Everyone who's watching tonight's broadcast um, will really think hard about what steps can I take? Uh, how, what steps can all of us take in order to impact um, climate in a positive way here in Nepal? Himali Chhatra ko yekti orura jo city ma production baira na apnu living style le problem oru wagata, but it is disaster le, him tal oru le. Gorta ma there is sare problem oru baaja. Tu le rok tham gorni vane ko sabey agari porto porcha. The Himalaya, our mountains actually are the best uh, manifestation, best example to show that uh, climate change is real uh, and we are already you know, experiencing dramatic impacts of climate change. Glacial shrinking is formation of glacial lakes and some of those lakes can burst out if uh, certain conditions are met. 
that actually can cause catastrophic flood downstream which is called glacial lake outburst flood or GLOF. So there are so many things happening in this part of the world which are very much related to climate change. It is very um, important that the younger generation take note of these natural resources, the glaciers. These are natural resources for the country. And as you know, there are some 47 uh, glacial lakes uh, in this region, potentially dangerous glacial lakes, and out of which some 21 are in, in Nepal only. So if all these glaciers are going through the burst uh, experience, uh, you have all the people living below uh, downstream will be having huge, huge consequences. This is not only about Nepal, the neighboring countries, because glacier, the nature doesn't look into the boundaries that we people have put in. So this is a transboundary issue than climate change. Uh, gratitude to all our jury members. I'm sure they had a tough time because I watched all the videos and they were on point. The storytelling was so beautiful. They were shot beautifully. I'm sure you had a tough time. Uh, talking about the contestants, we had uh, um, 11 con participants, 11 very, very famous vloggers from uh, six countries with more than 40 million followers in various social media platforms participate in World Vlog Challenge, making it the biggest vlog challenge ever. And here is their introduction video. And let's have a look at their submission videos as well. Very exciting footage is along your way. Jolbai Parivartan Athat Climate Change वर्तमान काल को एक बल्दो समस्या बंदे आए कुछ हैं। क्यों आपको आजकल मौसम का मिजाज जरा बदला हुआ नजर नहीं है?
Eventually, we went to the mountains to learn about the mountain. The greatest teachers on planet Earth. Oh, my God. 
thank you, thank you. Tutsi. Thank you so much. That was, that was beautiful. They look so beautiful with all those costumes and just so rich, don't they? Well, we all know that Nepal is a country known for world-renowned, world-class climbers um, who are rightly called the Tigers of the Snow. And here we have a message from one of the biggest tigers we have, a legend, Kamirita Sherpa, who has, who has multiple record, records under his belt. One being, um, he has climbed Everest 26 times till now. Let's hear it from him. Video, please. Bastai This has been quite an exciting evening and we are heading towards the most exciting part, the actual award ceremony. Whoever is watching us live on AP1 television, welcome to World Vlog Challenge um, Award Ceremony. Uh, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's head towards the highlight of the evening. And with us, we have the top three participants, which, <laughs> whom I'm going to name just randomly, okay? So don't look at me like that. This is a random. <laughs> they've, been, <laughs> they've been like, who's the winner? Who's the winner from yesterday? So with us, we have um, Juan Esveles. Did I get your name right? Okay. And yeah. <laughs> and uh, Somesh Pandey. Yeah. And Will Dasovic. And also we have Umesh Bhai from Nepal. Biswas Bhai from Nepal. I'm so sorry. Um, so let me head towards the award ceremony and to give away the award for second runner-up, may I invite on stage Dr. Arun Bhakta Shrestha, he's the Senior Climate uh, Specialist EC Mode, and Ms. Shivani Pradhan, the beautiful Digital Chief of World Vlog Challenge, to please come to the stage to do the honors. And can we have the awards here please? So, uh, even they don't know who it is. <laughs> do, you want to, do, you want, do you want to throw a wild guess amongst yourselves? Who's going to be the second runner-up? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Can you please come to the center? So, this is the second runner-up. Do you want me to announce or sir, do you want to do the honors? It would be a great delight if I could. Okay, so the second runner-up is Somesh Pandey. Woo! Congratulations, Somesh. All the way from India. I think you both look a little happier now. <laughs> Congratulations, Somesh. I watched your video. It was beautiful. Can you please say a few words? 
First of all, I would like to thank uh, World Vlog Challenge, Team World Vlog Challenge, Shivani and uh, Sri uh, for inviting me here. And uh, to all the members who were with us uh, on the trek, uh, I would like to thank my family members for uh, believing on me. Uh, I would like to thank my friends who were with me uh, when I was low and uh, all my uh, vlogger friends uh, who came with uh, me to the trek and uh, I really want to say uh, this speech in my own language, just one, one uh, line I want to say in my own language. Ki, कभी विश्वास नहीं था कि ये स्टेज ये मंच पे मैं खड़े होके कुछ कहूँगा और यहाँ तक पहुँच पाऊँगा। I just want to say thanks to everyone who was with me through the journey. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. It's time to give away the award for first runner-up. And to the honours, may I invite on stage Miss Nandini Lahe Thapa. Senior Director, Nepal Tourism Board. And one of my favorite climbers and high altitude employee, and now he's an entrepreneur. He runs Elite Expedition with such excellence. And my dear friend, Mingma David Sherpa, to please come up to the stage. Is it going to be Colombia or the Philippines? <laughs> what do you think? I think now, now I think so much should decide. <laughs> All right. So this is the award for second runner-up. Sorry, first runner-up. Yeah. Thank you. Would you like to do the honors, ma'am? Okay, this, the first runner-up, any guesses? Juarez Vélez. Juanes Vélez. <laughs> All the way from Colombia. I, I watched his video as well and it was beautifully made. Thank you, Mingma. Thank you, ma'am. Please be seated. A few words from the man himself. Yes. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to read. <laughs> today, is one of the, today is one of the most important days of my life because it's not only the celebration of our triumph, but also the celebration of being part of one of the greatest challenges as a travel blogger. One year ago, I took a flight from Colombia to Nepal without knowing that I was going to live one of the biggest experiences of my life. A completely unknown and different country, but at the same time, a place where I learned to know myself better as a human being. I put my physical and mental abilities to the test. I suffered, I cried, I tried to do my best in every test, and that was the biggest challenge for me. I want to say thank you to Sri, to Shivani, the other challengers, and the, the entire team that made this great project possible. I feel very proud to have participated in World Block Challenge, and I hope to continue to raise awareness about global warming in people around the world. I also want to say just a few words in my language for the people who is watching from South America. Eh, quiero dar las gracias a toda mi familia, a mis amigos, a todos mis seguidores que me apoyaron durante todo este viaje. De verdad que me siento muy, muy feliz, muy afortunado de estar acá. Y pues nada, los quiero muchísimo. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
It almost feels like I understand this language because of Netflix. Too many series going on in life. <laughs> it sounded so familiar, but I didn't understand the word. Probably just the greeting. Let's head towards uh, the the moment. And the winner already knows who the winner is. <laughs> it's yet to be revealed. Will, do you think you need to go and catch some sleep now? Are you tired? No? Have you memorized the speech properly? <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, to give away the words, may I invite on stage Mr. Garrett E. Wilkerson, Chief Public Affairs, U.S. Embassy, Nepal, and Ms. Ashiane Medagangoda Labe. She is the resident representative, United Nations Development Program. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner for the biggest vlog challenge ever is none other than Will. It's with the Will Dasovich. Congrats. Congratulations, Will. We have our winner for the World Vlog Challenge. That's gold. See, we can be very generous, Will. <laughs> this, is, uh, this, is, this is probably one of the coolest awards I've ever won, just like aesthetically looking at it. It looks very um, cultural. It does. It does. Um, do you think this is your viral moment? Uh, if... I fall or do or say something I shouldn't say, maybe, but let's hopefully um, not go viral with this. Um, yeah, I feel I feel high, at, like I feel like I have altitude sickness. Oh. <laughs> now every time I um, I don't know why award ceremonies freak me out. I get so scared when I get on stage and people think that's funny because I've done this for so many years and stuff, you know, with the vlogs and everything. But um, the jitters never go away. And I think it just means I, I really care about what I do. And uh, I don't prepare anything because I never want to expect to win. You know, I don't want to have that attitude. But as a content creator, it's extremely difficult to make a piece that is both entertaining and that is both meaningful and, and that has an impact on the world. It's something I think I and... and um, many creators struggle with because it's easy to be entertaining and get a lot of views and it's easy to make uh, a, a piece that's informative but it's really difficult to bind those two together so the amount of work it took to create this vlog was more than a month easily more than a month including like the two weeks of hiking um, the weeks in the editing cave the weeks of writing this out and, and really analyzing it and everything so for for you know to receive recognition like this it, it means a lot and um i was getting emotional when the, uh, they were playing and, and chanting those those sounds because there's so much that we all went through during that hike in the himalayas um so much mentally physically a lot of tears were shed there's a lot of stuff i was going through personally that i uh I never really shared, and, and many other people that us creators shared between each other. So um, yeah, just to be here, it, it's, uh, it's an honor. And you know, getting the point across about climate change and, and the whole purpose of this, this thing is to get as many eyeballs as we can on things that matter in this world. And being able to see you know, God's greatest creation, all these mountains, the Himalayas and everything, and, and kind of get people in and bait them in to watch these videos and then, and then spin it at the end with uh, something really powerful. Um, you know, case closed. I, I think mission accomplished for all of us. So I just want to thank everyone that's supported me from the very beginning. Um, Craig Adams for those drone shots that I stole from him. Uh, Juan for holding my camera. Anyone else who held my camera a few times. Um, Erica, uh, Kirk, my parents, my sister, anyone that's ever loved me. And yeah, I, I, that's pretty much it. Thank you, everyone.
Thank you so much. That was beautiful. I just want to ask you a quick question. We could see in, on the videos that you're, 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 you suffer from nosebleed and stuff like that. Uh, what happened and how did you cope with it? You know, there's, there's so many physical and mental um, just things I was going through. So I think it, it could be a mix of the altitude sickness. It could be um, the dry weather, the climate. I mean, dude, we were throwing up. People were breaking bones and uh, tearing ACLs and body parts and everything. Like, it, this was no joke. This was arguably one of, if not the biggest challenge of my life and, and maybe the hardest month of my life. Um, and it's really hard to convey that in a 10-minute video. But there's a lot of stuff that went down. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's just a, a mix of everything. But in the end... I feel like I came out stronger. I came out more confident. And that is pretty much the theme of what my vlogs about the content creation and, and everything I do. It's just to continue to challenge yourself and, and to face your fears and, and build confidence through putting yourself through the toughest tests. And, you know, Mingma David Sherpa over here, this guy's like one of my idols and stuff. I, I really do plan on summiting Mount Everest someday. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a dream I, I will do. I promise that. Will, will, <laughs> right? Thank you so much for the beautiful speech. Please be seated. Thank you. Wow. It's so amazing to hear about all those emotions and experiences from someone who has been thrown into, like he said, a very challenging, challenging task. At the same time, ladies and gentlemen, we also have our own local contestant, Abishwa Spike. Can you please stand up? And can we please uh, give him a round of applause as well? I watched your video too, Bhai. It was really good. Uh, all of your videos were on point. And I really hope, I really hope that you will be forever brand ambassadors of climate change in our Himalayas and the mountains and everything that stands for. Thank you so much for uh, participating in one of the biggest vlog challenge ever, world vlog challenge. Thank you so much. With this, it's time for me to leave. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. It has been quite a celebration of uh, mountains and mountaineering and um, high altitude employees, climbers, vloggers, storytellers, and our jury members and all the guests alike. Thank you so much for being present and to all the viewers who are watching us live on AP1 television and across various uh, social media platforms. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, I think this is a very important moment. It's at the end, but we'd like to hear it from the man who envisioned all this. You know, it's um, a vlog challenge, like the biggest vlog challenge. 11 contestants from like six countries. I don't think we have ever seen anything this massive when it comes to content creation. You have to have a vision. You have to work so hard. And I know, Sri and Sibani, you've worked so hard for this. Hats off to all of you. Thank you so much. And let, it, let us hear from the man behind World Vlog Challenge, the director, the man with the vision. And I hope you will continue doing so. Sri Gurung. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, I am Nisha Adhikari, your host, signing off. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for making it to the World Vlog Challenge Award Ceremony. Uh, especially today, uh, I'm really grateful to all the creators who join us here. And unfortunately, we couldn't have all of them here. But definitely, we're going to have them uh, together someday. And it was uh, really amazing. It was really painful memories that we have. But we, we're going to treasure that forever. But unfortunately, we missed our expedition co-leader, Kar Sang Bhai, and uh, we, we, we kind of, uh, that was a very unfortunate moment that uh, it, it's an honor working with him. And uh, before I say anything, I want to invite all the creators on the stage, please. One is Will Somis Biswas, please come join me on the stage. Mingma David, please join me on the stage. Shivani Pradhan, please join me on the stage. Today we are standing together and I just want to say that on behalf of all of us that this is just the beginning of whatever we started. 
we will be the voice of the Himalayas forever. Our, our Himalayas need a voice, and we'll tell to our millions of followers what we need to do, what's our responsibility in order to mitigate the impact of climate change in the glaciers of Mount Everest and the Himalayas all across. Billions of lives rely on the water originated from these glaciers. These glaciers are not only the origin of the fresh water, also the origin of life. We'll be telling that this is the promise that together we're going to make, and this is just the beginning of World Block Challenge. We'll be definitely, we're going to have a lot of creators together joining hands. And it was an honor working with all of you guys. Um, special, I'd like to acknowledge that um, I'm honored working with Elite Expeditions. NIMS is not here. Head coach Ming uh, Kamiri the Sherpa I couldn't make it, but we are really thankful to him. And all our partners who believed us. United Nations Development Program, U.S. Embassy, ECMO, Nepal Tourism Board, Nepal Mountain Area Association, Annapurna Media Group, and Elite Expeditions. It was an honor working with you guys, and I just want to say that we'll be working together to raise the voice, to be the voice of the Himalayas forever. Thank you.